So we are out here in the hills of Tuolumne County, way back here in the back rows, and uh, we got our caving crew with us, and we're going to go into this mine right over here. So, you know, as we always say, let's go ahead and light it up. Here we go. Let's see what's inside. Lots of flies. Uh, the tracks have been pulled up. You can see where the um, the ties used to be. No, look, look straight ahead to you, that way. Cool. The old ties are still on the ground right here. I'm sure they probably have been recycled or they picked them up and used them for somewhere else. Okay, my voice is really vibrating, which tells me some good, uh, good insight. And that is, if my voice vibrates, we got a tight mind here, it's a little minimal collapse. Not too bad. Everything looks pretty intact. Here's our first drift. There's the thing about going in these things and being the first person is I never know what's in front of me. We never know what's back here. That's a good shot right there. I'm going to actually go on lower, lower lighting, and then go. This would happen. So here we faced out. And uh, but what's up here? That's 
some wood pieces. Thing. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Corners worry me because I cannot see what's down there until I get around it. And this isn't a question of who's in here, it's more of what. Because otherwise, there's nobody out here. Oh, that's nice right there. Very good. And I'm gonna do lights out. And just red light. It's like every other mine I always do with red light. So this face is out right here. My uh, gas meter is quiet, so we're good on oxygen levels, hydrogen sulfide, everything it detects. And then we've hit the end. station here so 3,000 foot 3,000 foot uh, shaft here carts coming up out of it making their way onto this look how wide those tracks are coming up and over well let's go take a walk Footprints from a bear, maybe come out of that muddy mine. Came over here, pressed himself up against this tree. Pretty tall, too. They might get excited. Came through here. Well, I was looking at this at first One print, one, like, two print. All these footprints. Kept going until he hit those trees right there. Got mud all over those trees. So I don't know where he is right now, but we're going to another mine. We'll find out if he's in there. So here's a good example why I never, and we never tell locations. This is what's left of what this used to be here. Everything's just pretty much stripped. We got the dead cow back there. The bear took it off. Yeah, we the bear probably had a few good meals here. And here's what's left. Big old nest up there. Oh, yeah. We are still way out here in the hills of Tuolumne County, and I'm with my caving crew here, all of our friends. We are a caving crew together, and uh, we are going to be going into something that is right there behind me. So let's light it up. Let's go find out what's inside.
it's loaded with pipes. Make sure my meter's on. Yes. Sorry, the camera's so shaky. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's go in there. So. Oh, it looks like a lot of snakes, doesn't it? different lightings here on this picture. Cool. Oops. Oh, big old collapse. Huge collapse here. So we've got tracks. I'm listening for movement. Any thud or movement? We've got a huge collapse here, which makes me a little nervous. My goodness. I want. I'm gonna get out of here. Um, this makes me very nervous. Um, and the fact that there's no stalls holding up the ceiling or the walls makes it even worse. We do have. Looks like they use pipe for tracks. Has to be. Oh no, no, they're traps. Good. Big ones too. These tracks are underneath all of this mess. A little bit of crystal formations there. Hey, whatever they want, they got it out of here. And then I'm getting out of here. breathing hard is because of all the tight spots I'm in. It takes a lot of strenuous effort to do what we do. Um, the rest of our group found something else. 
Okay, I feel a little better now. So all this PVC pipe, I'm sure at one time was gonna be used for oxygen, probably from uh, a compressor outside to blow. There's another bird's nest, but they've all left. So I came back from there. I have a feeling they were intending to go for a very long ways with all this pipe. Now, unless they dug it already and it collapsed, I don't know. <clears throat> Lots of collapse, really bad. Really? Like you wouldn't think the ceiling would do something like that. And there's no stalls in there either. Did you go all the way into the stoked out room or is it collapsed in there now? It's collapsed. That's new. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, the big round room in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I it. Mean, okay. Yeah, is this the one we came up here for? Yeah. Did you find something else? No, we were looking, we didn't see Oh, okay. Else. You wanna check it out, Charles? Did Heather already go in there? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. I actually wanted to get back out just because of the significant collapse. I don't want to be under it. Mm -hmm. The tracks are just buried underneath it. You see the heavy duty rails in there? Yeah, yeah. thick. Big rails. I thought they were pipes. You know, I'm thinking who would use pipes for carts? Yeah, they uh, spared no expense on this. Yeah, I'm curious to see how much it's changed. You want to take this with you? You got your lighting? Oh, I got lighting, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm going to cut this out. That's it. Thanks for watching.